he's like, wait a second. Greatest superhero of all time, yeah. J.J. Abrams. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. He did it for the money. Well, that's, no. That's not. Because that's, that's how he works. No. Big, big, <laughs> big businessman. <laughs> Deploy canine. You know what is a canine? Oh, yeah. Excellent shielding. That seemed incredibly painful. Uh, I wanted the chemistry. I wanted to come back and I wanted that relationship because we haven't <clears throat> worked together since Jumanji. Mm -hmm. We've done other movies with other people. He's done other movies with other people. And other, um, <clears throat> so I wanted that. I wanted us to get back together again. I felt like the world would enjoy it. And then selfishly, I would enjoy it too. He did it for the money. Well, that's, no, that's not. Because that's, that's how he works. No. This, you know what this was? It was an opportunity to put us on the big screen in a different manner than what you've seen us before. So it was us raising the bar in this relationship yet again. And what a great idea, right? Like, talking mm -hmm. about superheroes and their pets, I mean, it hasn't been done. Why, I do not know. When one has an abundance of power, they have a certain duty to use that power to... Sorry. I had liked to... Th I thought of myself as a very um, uh, disciplined actor. I don't break on set. It all went out the window on that day. Since you don't tell day them, one. We, uh, we, we not only had a good time, oh, great time making a movie, but we were like, oh, this is something. Like, there, there's something. Yeah, something unique. There's something here. Like, this is a, it's a different, it's a different level of something. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, you know, when you get in this business and you get, you get people who are masters at what they do, um, and especially in comedy because it requires timing and rhythm and talent. And a lot of times, you know, everyone's protective of their own thing. And, well, is that my joke? I have to make sure it was a little more, bit more funny. You know, just, it was nothing like that mm -hmm. Kevin and mm -hmm. me. So it just, it was really automatic. We truly understand uh, how rare it is to come across relationships like this in this business because a lot of the times it's just work and go and, and, and that's it. Uh, when you're able to build a rapport and stay true to it, um, you evolve. So I think our relationship, of course, yeah. over the years has, has definitely grew and developed in some special, some dope. So uh, we bring the best out of each other. Trust. It's a good thing. Absolutely. A lot of trust. And I also appreciate our relationship in that over the years, <clears throat> and this is very consistent, we will send each other, we'll send each other texts of like some, some shit that goes down. Right. <laughs> Saying, hey, did you see this? Like, and then we'll remind each other, stay normal, man. Yeah. Just stay normal. So important. Down to earth. Just stay normal, down to earth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, well, well. If it isn't the Justice League. Superman? He's like, wait a second. Greatest superhero of all time. Yeah. J.J. Abrams. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Yeah. Uh, at the time, another movie called Past the Potato Salad. Uh, was mm -hmm. brought across my desk, and it just you knew. <laughs> that was the one. Move over, Superman. Pass me the potato salad. Yes. Yeah. So you got. It's all about project. It's all about the thought, understanding what makes sense for you. Um, business. Yeah. Business. Businessman. Just big businessman. Business. Big, 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 <laughs> big businessman. <laughs> you literally worship the ground that dude walks on. Technically, he flies. Batman works alone, except for Robin. I know that when you talk about the world of comics and the origin stories attached to them, um, you have some fans that are married to what they know. Um, in today's time, it's about it's about the change. It's about switching it up, and it's about promoting or providing a possibility of new. I love this idea of just always trying to kick the tire on what fans could want. Um, you know, you run your test groups, your focus groups, you get an idea of what they like, what they don't like, what they reject, uh, what they're open to. I mean, that's the best part. That's one of the best parts of our business that we love. You know, we're really just data-driven kind of guys who run our companies in that way, always listen to the people. So now that I've been exposed in this other way, a deeper way, into the world of superheroes uh, on the DC side, um, yeah, I'm always open to that and always, but always, I think it's critical to always listen to the audience mm -hmm. because they'll always guide you to where you need to go.